Hi! Hi folks. Some years ago I posted a video telling a story in reference to an incident that happened in Japan during the Second World War. It was in the later part of the war. I think it was in uh, February of 1945. American bombers are flying over the Japanese town to bomb a munitions factory where two of the bombers collided and everyone on board both those planes died. Well, the Japanese civilian citizens in a nearby town, rather than mutilate the bodies, as happens nowadays by members of the religion of peace, the Japanese brought the bodies, had them cremated and saved the remains, and after the war, they turned the ashes over to American authorities. Well, I have a good friend in Japan, her name is Seiko. She's a songwriter and a singer. And recently she appraised me of a story that happened of maybe a similar nature. And it has to do with the USS Missouri. The USS Missouri is famous because it was the battleship in Tokyo Harbor where the Japanese authorities signed the surrender, ending the war in the Pacific, bringing the final end to World War II. Well, prior to being in Tokyo Harbor, I think it was in May of 1945, the USS Missouri was part of the Battle of Okinawa and being a mighty battleship that it was, it was bombarding Japanese emplacements on the island of Okinawa. Now understand this, Okinawa is to Japan just like Hawaii or Alaska is to the United States. It's an integral part of the United States, Okinawa an integral part of Japan which was being now bombarded by American forces and invaded. Well at this point the Japanese developed a system known as the kamikaze, suicide pilots. And a lot of Americans think that these people were nuts and out of their mind. That's from a Western perspective on the surface. But examining it further from an Asian perspective, specifically a Japanese perspective, these young men were not nuts, they weren't out of their mind, they weren't drunk. They were patriotic, they were in the service of their country, their family, and the emperor. To the Japanese then, surrendering was incomprehensible, Most like, much like the word today in Japan, the word looting is incomprehensible to the current day Japanese. Well then, surrendering was incomprehensible. A lot of Japanese military personnel, when they finished their basic training and went off in their different directions, they would say to one another, I'll see you at the Yasukini. Yasukini is a Shinto shrine in Tokyo where those who died in the service of their country, their spirits are housed. So they would say, I'll see you at the Yasukini, because there was no greater honor than to give your life for the nation, your family, and the emperor. So a kamikaze pilot is now veering in towards the USS Missouri during the Battle of Okinawa, and it crashes into the Missouri not causing much damage, but as the uh, sailors on the Missouri, better known as Big Mo or Mighty Mo, were clearing the decks of the debris from the Zero, the kamikaze plane, they noticed partial remains of the pilot's body. They were about to toss it overboard, which was customary to do with the uh, remains of enemy aircraft pilots. Well, the captain, Captain Callaghan, and I think I'm saying his name incorrectly, he said, oh, no, you don't. You're not going to toss his body over, over the side there. He's a fellow warrior, just like we are. We're going to give him a proper burial at sea. And that's what they did. One of these sailors on the ship sewed together a Japanese flag, placed it over the canvas bag where the Japanese pilot's remains were placed, and it was tossed over the sea respectfully with a Christian minister saying some words and a gun salute towards this brave Japanese fellow warrior. What a magnificent story. And Seiko also put together a song and a music video and here's a part of it. Sand fell down to the ground
I'll have a link to the full video in the description. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Neonkoku, Japan. Even in the most horrific times of war, there are acts of humanity. See you. Ha 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 ha!